Hey everyone, it's Kate Chastain here at the BravoTV.com interview stage. It is our last interview of BravoCon and it's very, right? It, it's very full circle for me because I have all five captains from all the Below Deck franchises and I get to be the captain now. We have Captain Lee from Below Deck Original. Cap, captain Sandy from Mediterranean. Captain Glenn from Sailing. Uh, captain Jason from Below Deck Down Under. And introducing Captain Carrie from Below Deck Adventure. So, captains, is Below, or BravoCon the first time y'all are meeting each other? Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. First time meeting everyone in person, and it's great. It's so amazing to meet these guys. Who's taking care of all the yachts around the world? Who's on Anchor Watch? Who's watching all the boats? Yeah, exactly. Have any of you guys ever crossed paths in the workplace before, or worked together on yachts? Captain Lee and I were at Hall of Fame Marina together years and years ago. Uh, Captain Jason, Captain Carey, Captain Glenn, did any of you call Captain Sandy or Captain Lee prior to filming Below Deck for advice? I have. I spoke with Captain Sandy and Captain Lee when I first got started, and they, they told me, they gave me great advice. They said, just be yourself. And it was so important, uh, yeah. How I about really you guys? That. Yeah, Cap Captain Sandy reached out to me through Nadine and just sent me good luck and made me feel, you know, you get into it and exactly like that, do you, be yourself. How about you, Captain Kerry? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, about 10 years ago, Lee and I were playing a golf tournament and uh, when it came the opportunity to do this, I gave Lee a call and asked him, would he do it again if he had to redo, redo his time? And he said 100%. Oh. Uh, at the Legends Ball, Andy said Captain Jason had a 100% chance of getting laid. How's that going for you? <laughs> right now he's Zero. at 300%. Yeah, that's yeah. high. That's a high chance. 300 and counting. I mean, Is that what you told me? Sorry. It's not over yet, ladies. <laughs> all right, all captains, is there a crew member you regret firing on the show? And who did you not regret firing? Captain Lee? Yeah, I really regretted having to fire Stuby. Yeah. Because he was such a sweet kid. He was. He tried his he tried so hard. Yeah. He just left couldn't, that couldn't close the deal. He just left that porthole open while we're underway. Yeah. Yeah, that's that, bad. That was that's a bad. major that was bad. Oopa. So everyone wants to know what are you guys really doing when the crew has their night off the boat? Captain Sandy, what do you do when the crew's out drinking? I go out to dinner, and then I come back and go to bed. Okay, Captain Glenn? Sometimes I sneak uh, a little jacuzzi, <laughs> and then I just go to bed. Yeah, how about you, Captain Jason? You get the, I get the jacuzzi warmed up a bit. Yeah, <laughs> Captain Carey? Yeah, I'm with the, these two guys, 100%. I'm so jealous. How much of a difference does it make to you guys when you have any returning crew? Deck crews, stews, chefs on board? I think it's great because you actually know them, yeah. right? So it makes it easier. Because you know, you've been there. I think I, it's a major part. Like, um, we walk onto the boat, we don't know the boat. Um, we don't know the crew. And we have to, there's a safety element there as well. So the initial, especially my first season, you have to be involved. There's, you have to be right on top of it and show them where you want to go. When you've got returning crew, it just helps you, them know your direction and it helps with the safety as well. I really, really appreciate having my dream team. Yeah. Daisy, Gary, Colin, those guys are amazing. Yeah. I, lo I love them to death and uh, I'm so lucky to have them. Yeah, they're a great team. Great team. Captain Lee, stud of the sea. Both Glenn and Captain Jason have definitely become sex symbols. Are you worried about them stepping on the toes of your stud of the sea status? Do I look worried? <laughs> Not in the slightest. Captain Carey, what can you tell us about Below Deck Adventure? Hmm. There's uh, a lot of drama going on. <laughs> there's, there's some people that uh, I wish I fired. No regrets. Okay. And there's um, a lot of action in the hot tub. That sounds exciting. I want to know why he gets to do all the fun 
<laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. I know, we did the wrong season. Yeah, we go like out of a porthole. Oh yeah, Tahiti looks great. Yeah from 200 yards away. I don't feel bad for you. Tahiti was amazing. It was. Uh, did you watch any of the Below Deck shows before filming Captain Carey? Well, funny enough, I didn't watch too much of Below Deck before I filmed Below Deck. But during shooting, I was watching Below Deck Mediterranean. <laughs> Captain Lee. I didn't watch any Below Deck before. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? So what do you think of the Chef Rachel drama on social media? Chef, Chef Rachel's drama on social media, what was your take? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of it. Right. Um, wish it hadn't happened. But she's on the upcoming season, right? She is on season 10, yes. What can you tell us about season 10 to look forward to? All right, season 10, is you're gonna see you're gonna see me do something I've never done before. Oh! And you're going to see something that's never ever happened on any Below Deck series ever. Ooh, that sounds that's, interesting. That's a good tease. Uh -huh. All right, let's go to some fan questions. Anybody have any questions? That's a first. All right. Anyway, we're gonna skip those. Is anyone in touch with Hannah? Is anybody in touch with Hannah still? I've talked to Hannah probably a couple of times since she was doing the, the love boat thing. Right, right. And I haven't been able to see it. I don't think it's on in the States, is it? No, uh, it's just in Australia. It's I've in been Australia. in contact with her a couple of times. Yep. Yeah. So. All right. Uh, Michael from North Carolina wants to know for everyone, if there was ever a Top Chef Below Deck edition where only Below Deck chefs could compete, who do you think would win? Dave. Dave? I don't know, Marcos. I would like to see Marcos. I feel on. like you guys are all partial to your chefs. Jeff, Dave. Dave. Captain Lee, who from our seasons do you think would win? Between Ben and Rachel, who would win? I'm not sure who would win, but I sure as hell would like to eat both dishes. So would I, yeah. yeah. Uh, Nicole from Wisconsin, how many of you own a boat? I, I've got a 42-footer. I'm actually cruising in Greece right now in uh, Corfu area where we, where we filmed season one. I'm going back to all the places. Does your boat have a name, Captain Glenn? Avalon. Oh, that's nice. Captain Carey, you have a boat? Yeah, just a little uh, uh, wakeboarding boat, and it's called uh, Aussie. How fitting. Uh, Kate from California, were you aware while filming that your crew found you so attractive? That's for Captain Jason. No, definitely not. <laughs> captain Sandy, Roy from Virginia wants to know, how does it feel to be the only female captain in the franchise? Have you been given any advice from the others? I honestly think we need more female captains. Yeah! Be the only woman. I want more women. Yeah! Malia just got her captain's license, didn't she? Yeah. Oh, she's working towards it. She's pretty close. Yeah. Uh, for Captain Lee, Becky from California. When will we see a book of all your one-liners and words of advice? I'd definitely read it. I'm working on it. Oh. Okay, good. Happen soon. All right, this is for everyone. Melissa from Massachusetts. If you're going to charter a yacht, which captain up here would you choose to set sail with? That's a tough one. Is that for all of us? Pardon? Yeah. You're asking all of us? them. And uh, that's a very fair you answer, Sandy. All of them. It's, you know, all right. All right, we're going to do a game in just one second. But first, Captain Jason, what was being on Below Deck, what has that done for your dating life and your DMs? Uh, the DMs have been a lot of restrictions going on there, but my dating life is still the same. All right. Do you, this is for everyone. Do you ever wear your captain uniform out on land to uh, impress people? Your, cap I your captain's uniform, do you ever wear it out? No. That's for the dating. That's a trick question. Yeah. <laughs> I know. All right, we're going to play a little game. It's called Let's Get Naughty. Uh-oh. So y'all are going to pass this life preserver around like hot potato. Just keep passing it. And wh whoever is holding it, when I ask the question, must answer my question. 
Keep it going, keep it going. <laughs> and, oh. Favorite Yacht Rock, uh, favorite Yacht Rock song. Favorite song to cruise to. Uh, <laughs> Staying Alive. <laughs> Staying Alive is a good one. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. Keep it going, keep it going. Uh, and what's your favorite boat name? Favorite, favorite boat, boat name. name? Cash Cow. All right. Cash Cow. Keep it going, keep it going. Favorite chef of all time? <laughs> Rachel. Yeah, she's good, she's good. Keep it going. Most insane personal proposition from a charter guest? Most, say again. Most insane personal proposition from a charter guest? Yeah, we, uh, you saw in the last uh, season, we had some pretty inappropriate guests, didn't we? So it was pretty tough. Um, yeah, I had to lock my door there one night. The, oh, wow. Um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was hot. Okay. All right, keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. And... All right, favorite chief stew of all time? <laughs> I, I didn't make the questions up. Luck. My wife, Mary Ann. Good answer. Hi, Mary Ann. And there's another, one more question. Second favorite. Of course, you. Thank you. Uh, all right, Mary guys. Ann and you, the top two. I'll take it. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by the Bravo TV stage.